Herb Wishner here from Gamiac.com. Here we are today back in Tunic going for a secret legend. This is to find secret item number two. The prerequisite to this one is to make sure you have access to the old house. So from the starting area, which one do you want to make sure you head up to the first save point. Make sure you hang a left down the bridge, cross the drawbridge, and then make sure you go over here by the windmill. Take the ladder down. That's going to be the old house right there to your right. We are going to need a key to open up the door. Thankfully, the key can be found due south of here. So what you want to do is want to make sure you head down past the fast travel station, down the ramps to the waterfront, wrapping around this corner right here until we see the fountain. Then we're going to take this set of stairs down and then make sure we turn right here. Next to this gaggle of enemies is going to be the old house key. Make sure you grab it when it is safe to do so. And then once you have it, we're going to bring it back the way we came, more or less, and then we can finally get that door open. So just make sure you take it back with you. Once we do have access to the old house, we are going to need it to set the game to nighttime as the next collectible is going to require us to do so. Now, unfortunately, you can't use the bed in the old house until you get to the end game. So if you are still doing this in the middle of the story, you are going to have to wait until practically the end of the main story in order to go for this. Nevertheless, the old house is going to be required for any way to get this, so make sure you have it open, and then we can save this for later. So we are going to be coming back here later anyway, so just make sure you keep note of where the old house is. But once you have that thing open, we're going to continue on to the point where we can get access to the nighttime mode of the game. So the point in the story where we can start making progress on this item is going to be the point where we turn into a ghost. Long story short, you are basically going to find all three keys to slot in the main temple. Once you do that, you should get the middle fast travel station in the fast travel hub activated. You're going to use that fast travel station to fast travel over to the last boss, and then you're going to have the last boss kill you, which is going to result in to you turning into a ghost. But what's also going to happen is it's going to set the game in to nighttime mode. So once the game is in nighttime mode, we are going to try to look for the secret item location. It is going to be found in the cathedral. In order to get there, what you want to do is want to make sure you head over to the graveyard. From the starting area, make sure you go up to the bottom steps and then make sure you take a right. Once you are in the corner right here, you should be able to take the bridge across as you have it ghostly illuminated. Make sure you activate the obelisk and that should light up the rail and then we're going to follow the rail and then light up all of the obelisks along the way and this is basically going to give us access to the cathedral as once you have lit up every single one of the three obelisks, you should get the cathedral door to open. So make your way into the graveyard. As a ghost, you should be able to pass through the gate and just make sure you keep following the rail. The second obelisk is going to be right here in the middle of the graveyard make sure you activate that to extend it and then we're going to make our way to the third obelisk unfortunately we aren't able to take this turn right here so we are going to have to head up to the mountains and then wrap around so just make sure you head over here and then just make sure you keep zipping across until you get back to the higher elevation and then just make sure you follow that along until it leads you to the third obelisk you are going to need a free hand in order to activate it, so try your best to mop up all of the enemies here the best you can. But nonetheless, once you activate that thing, that should get the door to the cathedral open, which is going to be where our next dungeon is. But it's also going to be where the collectible is going to be. Now, you don't necessarily have to do this on your initial trip here, as you are going to get the ability later on to set the game to nighttime, so you can always come back here once you do get that ability. But nonetheless, once you enter the cathedral, you want to make sure you take a left in to this book room right here. Make sure you interact with the back wall, which should reveal a hidden passage. Inside should be a chest with one of the money banks, so you could pick that one up and you can use it towards that achievement if you still don't have it. But behind that is going to be another hidden wall, which is going to take you into this cavern right here. Make sure you just follow this along and you're going to eventually head into this room with a ghost bridge. As a ghost you should be able to pass this and the chest where the item is is going to be underneath the bridge. Unfortunately the bridge is going to be blocking us so we won't be able to get access to it quite just yet. So in order to get the bridge out of the way we are going to have to come back here during the daytime. Unfortunately, the bridge isn't going to be available to be here during the daytime. So what we're going to need to do instead is we need to make sure we open up a back way so we can come here during the daytime. So make sure you head up to the back wall right here and you're going to need to punch in a very specific code in order to get the wall opened. This code is going to be left, up, left, up, right, up, left, up, right, down, right, right, up, right, down, left, 
down, right, down, left, down, left. Punching that in should pop open the wall, and then you should be able to go through this back way. It's going to take you out on to the balcony of the cathedral, which you can wrap around, and then eventually it should lead you to a ladder that you can take up to the front of the entrance. So make sure you remember where this is, as we are going to have to come back here later. Now, the other catch to this is we need to make sure we get the game back to daytime. Unfortunately, as it stands right now, we are also currently a ghost, so we are also going to need to get our body back. So to get the game back to daytime and also get our body back, we are going to have to proceed forward in the story. That's basically going to involve us clearing the cathedral dungeon, which is going to pop us out on the other side. And then once we are here, we are also going to need to find all six of the hero statues and then get our stats back so you can check out our guide for that if you need more information basically you're going to run around the world as a ghost and you're going to go to these six specific hero statues and then each one is going to give us one of our stats back you're going to need to find and then collect all six of those stat boosts and then once you have all six you should be able to get your body back so all of this is technically going to be part of the story, although it is optional. There's nothing stopping you from fighting the last boss as a ghost. That being said, you are going to need to have your body back and the game be nighttime in order to get the rest of the manual pages if you want the good ending. You're also going to need to have those conditions in order to find this specific secret item as well as get this achievement, as we are going to have to come back to that one room at the cathedral during the daytime. So make sure you do keep all of that in mind. Nonetheless, once you recover all six stats by finding all six of the hero statues, you should be able to get your body back. Once you have your body back, you should also have the ability to now change the time of day. This is going to be accomplished by heading over to the old house and using the bed. So once you have your body back, just make sure you hit up whatever local fast travel station is nearby. Then just make sure you travel over to the old house. Thankfully, there is going to be a fast travel station right next to it. And then just make sure you head inside. Make sure you use the bed. And that's basically going to change the game to whatever opposite time of day it currently is. So your first trip here is basically going to change it from night to day, which is going to be exactly what we want. And then once we have the game to the daytime, we should be able to head back and then grab the chest that contains secret item number two. So if you happen to forget where that was exactly, we're going to head back to the cathedral. So it's going to be back to the middle save point from the ladder next to the windmill. Then from here, you're going to want to head south. And then once you get to the bottom of the steps, make sure you take a right. And then you're going to take the bridge over to the cemetery. Thankfully, you should have the dash unlocked now as we did beat the cathedral dungeon in order to unlock it. And that's also going to make traversing a lot quicker. So make sure you use the dash and then try to get back over to the cemetery. You can take the ladder down or you can take the upper path if you really want to. Nonetheless, just make sure you try to get back there. And then once you are there, you're going to need to get around the gate. Unfortunately, we aren't a ghost anymore, so the gate isn't just going to open. So we are going to have to find a path around. There are a few different paths you can take. You can take the pillars if you really want to, or you can take the long way, which is to head over to the right and then find the hole in the fence and then just take that around. And then eventually you should be in the back part of the graveyard. Once you are there, just make sure you trudge forward and then get to the entrance to the cathedral. You've already been here, so you should be pretty familiar with the area. So just make sure you get there in one piece. Once you are here, we're going to need to take that back entrance we open. So make sure you head over to the right. Make sure you try to find the ladder spot. Hit that button to take it down. And then once we are here, make sure you wrap around the balcony until we get to that back entrance. And then make sure you pop on inside. Once we are here, you're going to notice the bridge is now gone. And we should be able to get access to this lower part. Take the stairs down, open up your chest. And then inside is going to be secret item number two. There it is, and the achievement that goes along with it, 50 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.